Today I'm checking out the craziest Gorilla Tech Bang game. Welcome to Moat. So there's so much to do in this game. There's a giant forest map where you can play infection, casual, and there's usually a lava mode, but they took it off due to issues. Another really cool feature is that you can grab on trees. Like, you can climb. Like, I don't think any other game has done that besides Capuchin. And this honestly does it better than Capuchin. In Capuchin, you fall off a lot more. In this game, you don't really fall off as much. It stays on. Now let's check out the shop. So there's a ton of cosmetics here. Like, so many cosmetics. Also really like the design, how it looks like you're in a cave. And the last thing before we go to the next game is a thumbnail dream. For, like, with a green screen. So let's go to the next game. Welcome to Monk. This game is so cool and there's so much to do in this game. So let's start out with the shop. So there's this awesome shop with and then a cool cosmetic system and a ton of cosmetics. Whoa, they updated the cave. I went to another cave in the old shop, but this is a completely new cave and it's cool. Oh, and there's like a crack in the ceiling. That's cool. Also, another main thing with this game, if you go in the water, it's like blurry and looks like you're actually swimming. Welcome to the forest map. It's so big like the Moke forest, but it's not like a rainforest. But, and there's like a lake in the middle. There's a waterfall over there. There's huge trees. And there's also this game mode switcher, which is why this game is above Moke on this list. So there's a game mode called Mott, which I hate because I don't understand it. I think it's like King of the Hill. I don't know. And then there's stick tag, which is tag, but like, like just tag. Why can't I click next? What? Word. I'm the room, o room owner. Anyway, there's one more game mode where you can play like, like it's like floors lava, but like though it's water. So I guess water kills you now. This is my favorite map. This is the beach map. There's vines that you can climb, kind of like Gorilla Tech. They just don't swing. I'm pretty sure in other maps there's ones that swing. And there's an entire view of the beach up here. Underwater, there's a ton of coral and rocks. Anyway, that's all for Monk. Let's go to the next game. Now it's time for Kong. Okay, so I'm just gonna say it. I think this game was overhyped. It's still a really good game, and that's why I'm putting on this list. But I think it was pretty overhyped. Anyway, there's some game modes, which, um, experimental, which I don't know what it is. Casual is, like, casual. And then countdown is, like, tag. But like with bombs, play it if. You and then this is the only other map. I just think that they need more maps, which they're probably gonna add in the future. But one of the things that's really cool about this game is it reacts to water, kind of like Gorilla Tag, but like higher quality. Now let's get to the final. And then this probably isn't a surprise to most of you. Capuchin. This is the best Gorilla Tag fan game out there, and I think most people can agree. It has so much to do. Which let's start with four. I'm pretty sure like 99% of you have played or seen Kabuchin Horror. But yeah, it's pretty scary. There's this main area over here. And then you're trying not to die. Dave the monster chasing you. You also have to charge up your um watch thing. Okay, there's a ton more to do about Capuchin that I can't cover all in this video, so click the video linked up there or in the description below to see me play more Capuchin. But yeah, those were the games. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!